The Lebanese capital is once again being targeted by Israeli strikes. Earlier, the Israeli army ordered evacuations in two neighborhoods in southern Beirut. The latest strikes follow multiple attacks on Saturday in the city's heavily populated southern suburbs, with Israel saying it has struck Hezbollah targets. The latest attacks on Beirut follows claims from Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who says Hezbollah tried to assassinate him. That's after a barrage of projectiles was launched by the militant group across the border on Saturday. Israel's government says a drone was launched towards the PM's home, but no one was injured. We should mention Israel is also stepping up its campaign in Gaza. Hamas-run authorities there say at least 73 people have been killed in an Israeli airstrike in Beit Lahia in the north. Israel's military says it's investigating the incident but claims the death toll has been exaggerated. Meanwhile, in nearby Jabalia, thousands of Palestinians are fleeing as Israel presses on with its offensive there, part of a year-long operation in Gaza sparked by the October 7th Hamas terror attacks. Gaza's health ministry says hundreds have died in the area in the last few weeks. Residents say Israeli troops are forcing them to move south to Gaza City. DW's Tanya Kramer joins us now from Jerusalem with more. Tanya, there's conflicting information on how many people died in that Israeli airstrike in northern Gaza. Could you explain what Hamas's media office is claiming on one hand and what the Israelis are claiming on the other? Well, we can say that intense fighting is continuing across uh, the Gaza Strip and uh, particularly in this incident. This happened in Beit Lahia, which is north of Gaza City. It's in northern uh, Gaza. And the, uh, according to the Palestinian sources, the Hamas media office, a multi-story residential building was hit. Uh, there are also uh, a lot of um, uh, video and footage coming out on social media uh, with at least uh, uh, 73 uh, people People killed, many wounded. Uh, rescue services also there say that many are still uh, trapped uh, under the rubble and they cannot access them. Uh, and that comes, of course, um, while hospitals there in the north are also uh, working, um, you know, at their limits. Basically, um, they are not functioning properly anymore. Now, the Israeli army has released a statement uh, uh, last night, basically saying, uh, disputing uh, these numbers, uh, saying. The numbers are exaggerated, do not align with their assessment, given that they had used precise munitions against this target they said was a, a Hamas a target. It is not possible at this point to verify uh, this information, but we had those disputes uh, in the past. Now, what we are seeing here is actually an intensifying uh, um, offensive across uh, Gaza, uh, particularly in northern Gaza, where the Israeli military had launched again a new ground in invasion around the Jabalia refugee camp. Now, the United Nations have said that uh, about their estimate, 20,000 people more have fled the area. Many are actually fleeing to neighboring uh, cities or, or uh, locations. Uh, we managed to talk to people there last night. Some said they were able to leave. Others said they were trapped uh, in the fighting with uh, supplies running low. There's mm. a lot of concern about northern Gaza right now as the humanitarian situation is also deteriorating. There were only a few trucks of aid going in, some airdrops as well in the past days, but aid organizations say it is obviously not enough because of the depleted state and the heavy fighting going on there. Tanya, we're also hearing uh, U.S. media reports that classified U.S. documents have been leaked, which appear to provide details of Israel's preparations for a retaliatory attack on Iran. What more do you know? Yeah, there are reports now that the U.S. is investigating uh, a leak of highly classified intelligence uh, documents. Now, these documents, it is still unclear whether they were leaked or whether they were hacked, appeared uh, in the course of Friday. They were dated, uh, um, uh, marked top secret, were dated from the 15th and the 16th of October. And they allegedly show preparations uh, by Israel, like uh, moving munitions, uh, arming uh, uh, airplanes uh, for a potential retaliation against uh, Iran, against the missile attack by Iran that happened on October 1st. That was also retaliation by 
by Iran uh, for the killing of uh, Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah and others. Now, uh, this comes, of course, at a sensitive time for U.S. resolutions. We uh, understand that there will be a security cabinet meeting this afternoon discussing this. It's not so much a matter of if the strikes will happen, but when it will happen. That's Tanya Kramer in Jerusalem as ever. Many thanks.